Hey guys, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Sony CRE C20. It's brand new. If you're watching this video, that means that this product is now for sale on Soundly.com and at other retailers. Now I'm actually wearing the product in my ears. It's an in-canal, invisible style device. You probably can't really see it in my ear canal. If you look straight down my ear canal, you may see it, but most people are never going to know that I'm wearing this product. The other exciting thing about this Sony CRE C20, this new product, is that it is finally rechargeable. Sony has historically had a in-the-ear device that used a small size 10 battery, which steered a lot of folks away from this product. We finally have a rechargeable version. And in this video, we're going to dig into everything we know about the product. I'll talk to you about my experience wearing it over the last couple of weeks, some of the key features you should know about, where you can find it, and how it stacks up to the rest of the Sony lineup, and then even more broadly, across the over-the-counter hearing aid landscape. Let's get into it. <music> All right, so before we dig into this brand new product from Sony, let's do a little bit of background. Sony has not historically been a maker of hearing aids. They really only got into the hearing aid space in 2022 after the FDA formalized standards around over-the-counter hearing devices. For the 40 years prior to 2022, you had to go into a doctor, they would test your hearing, they would prescribe hearing aids, they would program them for you, and you'd walk out with those devices. From 2022 forward, after this move by the FDA, hearing aids became available over the counter. And that brought a couple of interesting consumer electronics companies into the fray, including Bose and also Sony. So Sony initially came out with two products. They came out with the Sony CRE C10, which used a disposable battery, but it looked a lot like the device that I'm wearing now. It sat deep inside the ear canal, nearly invisible in most ears. And then Sony came out with a second version, which was rechargeable, called the Sony CRE E10. I know these names are a little bit confusing, but there was always a problem that consumers faced. They had to choose between rechargeable batteries in a larger form factor or disposable batteries in this really convenient invisible form factor. Finally, Sony has figured this problem out with the release of Sony CRE C20. This is a rechargeable device that sits totally inside the ear. They partner with WS Audiology, which is the parent company that makes Signia hearing aids, Rexton hearing aids, and a few other hearing aids on the market. So it's a very trusted manufacturer, really knows how to amplify sound and create a device that can sit inside your ear all day long. I'll take this out so you can see how it looks. One of the things that I love about the new Sony device is that it has this sort of curvature, which makes it really comfortable when it slides inside the ear canal. This is also my favorite ear tip style. So there are various ear tip styles across different brands. My favorites come from WS Audiology, so Signia products, Rexton products, and Sony products. I love this ear tip. I think it's really comfortable for all day wear. And then of course, the big new feature is this recharge case. You simply drop the hearing aids into the recharge case. There's a little magnet that clicks it into place. Take the other one out so you can see the pair. Pretty simple to drop them in. Close that case, drop it in your purse or your bag. It's going to recharge and give you 28 hours of consecutive power. The other exciting thing about this new launch is that Sony has overhauled the chipset that is inside of these new devices. It handles sudden sounds better. It handles background noise better. Now, I've been wearing this product for a couple of weeks to get a sense for how it performs in different backgrounds. So I've done it at home, in front of the TV, here at work. And then yesterday, I went to a coffee shop with a friend where it was pretty noisy. They were making drinks behind the bar. There was music coming in through the speakers, several different conversations happening around me. And I was really impressed by the way that the Sony CRE C20 was handling and, and zeroing in on the conversation happening in front of me. Now, the new chipset inside of this device supposedly has improved ability to handle multiple conversations and more dynamic background noise situations. This is something that WS Audiology, the parent company that makes this device, has been working on really hard over the last couple of years. And I can hear that progress even between the older C10 and the newer C20. So really excited about the overall overall sound quality. Now, there are a couple of things to consider as you're considering Sony hearing aids and specifically the Sony CRE C20. The first is that the app setup 
for Sony hearing aids can be a little bit more challenging than other hearing aids on the market. It's totally doable. It's possible through Android and through iPhone, but it takes a little bit more time and a few extra steps that you don't find in some of the competitors. Now, if you do purchase through soundly.com, we will get on a setup call with you if you'd like, and we can walk through all of the steps together. Most folks are able to get through the process, but if you're not technically inclined or if setting something up on an app is really challenging for you, that's one thing to consider. Make sure you get that help or find a place to purchase the product where you will ultimately get some support. We'll talk more about the app in just a second. I'll take you through the entire process so you can see it for yourself. The other important thing to know about the Sony CRE C20 is that it does not stream Bluetooth. Now, this is standard for invisible in the ear type devices, but you're not gonna be able to stream music or phone calls into your hearing aids. If you're someone who takes calls all day long, you may end up taking your hearing aids out, putting in your earbuds, or potentially you could hold a phone up to your ear because these are devices that sit inside the ear. The last important note to make about the Sony CRE C20 is that it is technically best for folks with mild or moderate hearing loss degrees. If you have severe or profound hearing loss, you'll probably want to step up into a prescription product, maybe from Signia or Rexton, or there are several other prescription brands which we talk about on this channel and at soundly.com. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, Sony CRE C20 hearing aids do not require a doctor's appointment. That also means that an audiologist is not going to program your devices before they put them in your ears you'll be programming the devices yourself. So let's take a closer look at what that process really looks like. I'm gonna show you the full app setup so you can see how this process works and how you'll be customizing your hearing aids to match your particular hearing loss. After all, it's worth noting each person's hearing loss is a little bit different. I have a cookie bite, it goes down in the middle, up towards the higher frequencies. Most people have a slope. If you have questions about your hearing loss, your level of hearing loss, you can get in touch with our team. We're happy to take a look at your hearing test with you and see if Sony or another product might be the right fit for your particular case. All right, let's jump into the Sony Hearing Control app. I'm gonna open up the app. You'll assume you'll download this in the Apple Store or the Android Google Play Store. And you're going to go through a couple of steps right when you open the app. First, you'll set up an account, which will just be with your email. You'll set up, be setting up an account with Sony. And then you're going to set up your hearing profile, which will require you to take a test. You'll hear beeps in your left and right ear. You'll indicate how many beeps you heard for each of those signals. And then ultimately, that will program your hearing aids to match your particular loss. Once you're done with the whole setup process, you're going to reach a screen that looks like this. Now you're going to have two main options for the Sony CREC 20. The first is your volume screen. So you can just simply turn up the volume, turn down the volume, pretty straightforward. Typically, if you want your volume in the middle, that's going to be sort of what the manufacturer would recommend, but you can play with this as much as you need to. The other major tab that you have available to you is the sound balance within the app. So you can turn this up or down depending on what your particular hearing tastes are. Now, if you turn it up, you're gonna hear a sharper sound, crisper. As I change this, I hear more consonants, S's and T's. I'm hearing a lot more uh, crispness in sound. As I move it down, I'm gonna be hearing a lot more roundness and smoothness in the sound. Often folks will leave it at zero or in the middle, and that would kind of give you the most balanced sound profile. A couple other things to know about the app. You can get back to the hearing aid setup if you ever wanna retake your test. You can adjust the loudness. Now you'll notice that you have options to change your loudness within the main app, your remote control app, but then you also have this master volume. So if you wanna turn up the master volume or turn down the master volume, depending on whether it's consistently too loud or too quiet, this is the spot inside the app that you can do that. Again, you'll get there by hitting those those three little lines at the top of the app. Now under fine tuning, you've got a couple of different options. You can give some prompts to the app on what you're experiencing. So let's say your loudness is too loud. Now I'd say continue and it's going to give us a solution. So I'll try solution one. It's going to apply that to my hearing aids. So I'm basically making a change on the fly. I hear a beep in the left ear. Now I hear a beep in the right ear. And now I can hear a different sound quality. So I'm gonna say, yes, I like this solution. And just know that this section of the app is basically your assistant. You can go in and make updates as needed um, in the fine tuning section. So those are some of the major features. I'm gonna go back to the remote control, which is where you'll spend most of your time. Again, volume control and sound balance are the two most common app features that folks will use. All right, so what are my overall thoughts on the Sony CRE C20 and where do I think it fits in the overall over-the-counter hearing aid landscape? 
Now, in general, I think the Sony CREC20 is very well built. It comes from a credible manufacturer. It obviously has a household name brand stamped on each device. It's backed by Sony and WS Audiology. I find that it's a very stable product. It works well in my ears for 12, 14 hours a day. It's also quite comfortable and it's practically invisible. Those are a lot of pretty significant reasons to put this on your shortlist. Now, if streaming is really important to you, this product obviously won't be the right choice. And if you're not sure you wanna go through the setup process using an app, we might recommend a telehealth product or a prescription product. Typically those are gonna cost a little bit more, but you'll get a different type of service where a professional can program your devices for you instead of you doing it through the app. Now, again, if you purchase C20 through soundly.com, we'll get on a call with you and we'll walk through that setup process together, but you'll still be the one pushing the buttons. In general, I think this product should be on most people's shortlist if they're considering an over-the-counter hearing aid. It is certainly now one of the leaders for in-the-ear style devices. It's really comparable only to Eargo in the over-the-counter set. Eargo has a lot of perks as well. I would consider those two products if I was really thinking about an in-the-ear device. I hope this video has answered some of your questions, giving you a sense for what the Sony CREC20 has to offer. If you have questions for us, let us know in the comments. You can always call or text our team. We wish you the best in your research.